Hello Universe, this is Gypsy. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Today's video is a project created by the Pantastic Ladies of Facebook. This project is called Go for the Goal. The project started January 1st. I did not start this until February. I was late to the party. Um, wasn't sure what projects I wanted to do this year watched a few people's videos, enjoyed them so much, I thought, oh, I should jump in on that. So I did. I started in February on the 15th. The project started January 1st, and it's going to run to December 31st. And the object of the game is to have four to six products in rotation and to select your own goal, to choose your own goal on these products. So I've chosen two, four, six products. And some of them, I already have the uh, the the product selected that I'm going to roll in behind it because it is a, a rotation, a rolling pan. The first product that I've got is um, toner that I took numerous bottles and poured into one container, one decanter, and it's in my crackle glass container. It's a lot of toner that I'm going to be working my way through. It's a year-long project. I had not uh, had toner in my makeup routine. I've added it back to my makeup routine. Sometimes I remove makeup with it just because it's sitting here beside me and it's easy. This is my progress line. So this is where I rolled it in in February. Did a checkup in March. This is my April check-in. So seems to be steady progress on this product. The next product that was not in my routine, that needed to be in my routine, was face moisturizers. I has I had um, four face moisturizers that I wanted to try to use up this year. Um, I, I actually, I want to go to a, a, a thicker, uh, I think, formula than what I have, have had. I was working on um, a Mary Kay. This is, um, to me, it's a very thin formula. It's a watery formula. It's a light formula. I think it would be perfect in the summer here in South Carolina because of our heat and humidity. It makes facial moisturizers pretty intolerable. intolerable. It'll, uh, your, your mo after moisturizing your face, sweat will actually just sit on your face. Moisture will actually sit on your face, whether you're hot or not, whether it's sweat or not. That's just how humid it is. So this is when I rolled it in. This was my first check-in, and I finished this product. So this is an empty. I've got an empty in this project. I'm very happy about that. The next product I chose to roll in was the Sally Hansen Callus Remover. This has been hanging around my house. It wasn't, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you that I'm going to roll in the Clairol. Herbal Essence. Actually, I rolled it in on the 27th of March, so I've just got a little bit of use on this product. So I think this is going to last a little while. And um, I've actually tried it not only on my face, but on my throat, my arms, and everything. And I, I like the way it performs on my arms and legs better than I like the way that it performs on my face. It's got some scents in it. Um, it's supposed to be clarifying for combination and oily skin. It's supposed to be an oil-free moisturizer. It's got clover, green tea, and vitamin E in mountain spring water. Maybe it's the clover. I'm not sure, but I can, I can feel it on my skin. I can feel a reaction to this product. So I'm not sure if this is going to stay in my facial moisturizer category. I've only given it a few weeks of play and I haven't worn it daily so I need to experiment with this a little bit more to decide if this is going to become a body moisturizer or if I'm going to keep it on my face. I don't like to feel a product on my face like that. I don't like to feel a reaction like that. I'd probably go crazy if there was a retinol product to try. I, I, wouldn't, that, I wouldn't go for that at all. The next product in this category that I've been working on and quite honestly guys I'm, I hadn't been dipping into it this much uh, this month I, I've only touched upon it a few times um, over the month um, I have to reach into this into the corners into the bottom with a q-tip to get it out 
and I know that I do feel a reaction with this. This is the Estee Lauder um, Fruitation Complex. What it's supposed to do is reduce reddened areas before you put your foundation on. Um, it's got citrus in it, and citrus is known to do that, but you can definitely tell when I, and I just touch it on a few reddened areas right in here before I put foundation on. You can definitely feel that. Um, but this I tend to do before bed after I've cleansed my face. This I tend to do before I put makeup on. So they should not be, there shouldn't be any type of reaction. The feeling that I'm getting from this is definitely from this product. I, can, I know the difference. I can tell the difference is what I'm trying to share with you. So I'm still working with this fruit, fruitation. I'm reaching into it with a Q-tip to get a little bit out because it, it is getting down. It's tons of window in there. It is getting down to the bottom. I have to keep beating the the bottle down to get it to go into the corner so I can reach it because if it fits up into this corner it's hard to reach. Still working on that. The next product now is the Sally Hansen Callus Remover. I had had this um, hanging around my house way too long so I went ahead and put it in my shower and what this feels like, it feels like a lotion that has sand in it and you can just massage it into your feet to soften your feet and I guess the abrasiveness of the sand is what is supposed to help with the callus removal. I personally think a pumice stone works much better. This is when I rolled it in, my first check in, and this is where I'm at right now. So I've got a little bit more to go. Um, it's not something that I would use for daily use. I just use it a few times, a few times a month is all I use that for. The next product I haven't reached for that much this month at all, and that's the Avon Peppermint Foot Spray. I keep it in my car. Usually what I'll do is I'll come out on a break and change tennis shoes, and I will spray my feet with this peppermint spray to cool them and make it more comfortable and tolerable to work on my feet. So this is my Avon Foot Spray. When I first rolled it in, I was using it a lot. This past month, not that much use. Um, have not taken the time to uh, change out my tennis shoes for comfort at work. Um, so that I imagine that's going to ebb and flow with my work schedule. Uh, just using it as I can use it because it's product specifically for work. The next product that I wanted to get use of was a hairspray, a White Rain wet hairspray. And I have a Pantene product to pour into this because the Pantene product's nozzle quit working. That's a problem and it, ha it has a lot to do with why I have duplicates, triplicates, is, is package failure. So this spray is still working for me. Um, I found a light bright enough to shine up against the packaging to get a measurement line. I was trying to do this by weight and I did not see, I saw a minimal amount of change in the weight because my scale simply wasn't picking it up. Um, I believe it is a 7 ounce bottle. Minimal amount of change but now that I've got the bright light I, I've got a measurement line. So this is where I'm at. What I do with this product is after I gel it, after I've scrunched it, scrunched it, gelled it, and I sweep my hair up into a bun for work, I'll spray underneath the bun so I don't have a bunch of wispy hairs falling down. My hair is baby fine and real silky, and that's why I use the gels to get some grit and texture to it so that my barrettes will hold it. Otherwise, my hair would slide out of barrettes while I'm working. And then, um, so I spray this to keep the wispies from starting to slip out of the hair barrette. The last category of products that I wanted to get some use out of was some compacts, some pressed powder compacts. There's a Wayne Goss hack that I've been using where you apply your um, primer, then a powder, a compact, it can be a loose or a compact powder, and then put your foundation on. So I've been using, I've been doing that hack for a few months now. I have been working on an Aziza uh, compact. It had pan in the inner circle of it last 
when I was rolling it in, I did finish this compact. I have rolled in my next compact, which seems to me to be lighter. And I'm working on that. It, it was that pan when I rolled it in. And I think that you can see the difference in the color. I don't even have to trace it. It didn't occur to me when I was trying to mark this one and track it. You can see where I started and you can see where I'm at now. How much use. So I'm going to keep working on this. This will be the third and last Aziza when I finish this. And I'm either going to roll in a Mary Kate and Ashley. It's a bronzer, but it's very light. I'm going to see if this will work, guys, um, for this Wayne Goss hack. And if it doesn't work, I've got a franken pan of loose powder that I could use. I'm going to see if that's light enough to wear underneath my foundation. I won't know until I get there because my foundation could quite possibly be used up and I could be moving on to the next product in line. I expect for it to. I expect to finish up the Merle Norman that's in my Panning Your Mental Health project. That's where I'm tracking and playing with the usage of foundations. Um, that's a project um, to support and be an advocate for mental health. It's a full face of makeup, so almost a full face of makeup. Mascara, foundation, there's lotion, there's perfume, there's eyeliner, and there's lip products in there. I'm also doing lip service. Um, I'm also doing 19 and 2019. I have a lot of empties in that project this month. I'm doing Pan as Old as Time. That's my 1992 Avon palette. I'm working on that project. I'm working on a Menage a Polish project where you keep three polishes in rotation at all times. This is Go Through the Goal, um, Drop 10 Before Summer. I'm kind of vacillating back and forth with the scale on that one, but the product use up is, is going well. I do empties and I do a lookbook, and on Sundays I do a palette of the week. Um, I had a few projects updates due this week, so I'm powering through and kind of doing a little recording weekend. So the next um, video I need to update or I need to record is going to be that palette of the week video. But this is Go for the Goal. This is a fantastic ladies project. I have two empties this month in this project. I've already rolled in the next pro pro products. I expect to have an empty, I hope, in this compact in possibly the fruitation. I'm going to see how this performs with the weather change, with it getting warmer. I mean, we're we're in the 80s in, in the in the middle of the day now here in South Carolina. I'm going to see how that works, and I'm going to continue to just work on the rest of the products. If I run out, I've got products to roll in behind them. If I burn through those categories, I might make substitutions later, and I'll keep you guys updated on that. Thank you so much for dropping by my channel. Thank you for your support, your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. Thank you for your advice. I really appreciate this panning community and the makeup community that YouTube has produced. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you again in a month.